I think for me, when I started learning to fly, it maybe started as sort of a hobby. It's really a way of life now. They say with building your own airplane that someone probably gives you a, a, a multi-thousand dollar free ride. And that's, that's kind of what happened to me. One of my buddies took me up uh, in his RV8 to fly to an air show. Sitting in his airplane, I kind of decided, okay, I've, I've totally got to do this. To build an airplane is a huge commitment. I think I, I probably spent more time than if I had continued pursuing a master's degree on the airplane for, for sure. It becomes kind of kind of all-consuming, so it, it has to be something that you want to do. Working at Garmin definitely was a very positive uh, positive thing for for an aircraft builder such as myself. A lot of my coworkers are also building, so that gave us all something to to talk about, and I really leveraged a lot of their uh, their knowledge and experience. And we've got a great network of folks that that can really help. It's pretty awesome. You, I think they they purposefully make sure the pilots aren't all sitting really close together because otherwise, you know nothing would probably get done. <laughs> I find it to be very interesting to, to work at Garmin. In my particular role anyway as a software engineer, I'm always working on something different. I have the ability uh, to help uh, improve processes through automation in Garmin. So to me that's very fulfilling to help be able to help others do their work more effectively, really. I think being a pilot uh, really does help me with my work. Um, Primarily, it helps me connect with other pilots and understand their point of view. One of the things I do is help troubleshoot issues related to our user interface. So when I see a customer issue and see them describing some problem, it's a little bit easier for me to wrap my head around, you know, how this impacts them, how important is it to fix, you know, at, at which time. I think there's a lot of engagement with our products. I think folks are, are really pretty excited about them. So for other folks that are, uh, that are installing Garmin Avionics on their aircraft, it's an exciting process to see your panel, you know, come to life. I've done plenty of flying behind steam gauges and I understand the limitations there. From the get-go, I wanted the safety enhancing features, the autopilot, the weather, the traffic, all that stuff you can get with, you know, a G3X system. The RV in particular is a really great performing airplane. It flies better than any other airplane that I had rented previously. So I kind of have the fulfillment from having built it, but then also just that it's a great machine. Every time you hop in your own airplane and take off, it totally feels worth it. It's all worth it.